developing right now at noon. Stocks are up now following days of losses over concerns about the coronavirus and the global impact. Right now, the Dow Jones is up. Great to see that. It is up by 236 points, standing at 27,320. Now, all of this comes as the CDC issued a strong warning about the virus. U.S. health officials saying the spread here is inevitable and Americans should prepare for significant disruptions in our lives. The CDC putting it plainly that it's not a question of if the virus will spread to the United States, but a matter of when. We are asking the American public to work with us to prepare in the expectation that this could be bad. The people are getting better. And while the president is trying to calm the panic, insisting that the U.S. is well prepared for any outbreak, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are not so convinced. Sorry, You're head of Homeland Security. Do we have enough respirators or not? The government says it could need around 300 million masks and respirators to fight an outbreak, but only have right now about 30 million on hand. At a 3M plant in South Dakota where the masks are made, they're working around the clock and it's still not enough. The frustration in Washington is overflowing. This is not the time to try to shortchange the American people. A vaccine is still at least several months away. For now, if there is an outbreak, health officials are recommending Americans work harder to clean surfaces and to distance yourself from crowds. Meanwhile, overseas, the number of cases is rising. In South Korea, the U.S. military on high alert after the first U.S. service member tested positive for the virus. That 23-year-old soldier now in self-quarantine at his off-base residence. And in Italy, there have been more than 320 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. American universities like Syracuse and Fairfield are closing their study abroad programs in Italy. Grace Pomeri and Lauren Tassi are studying in Florence with the University of Illinois. They have been told not to travel to Milan. Most of the information that we're getting is from our advisors here. We're just kind of trying to take whatever precautions they tell us to. We were both supposed to travel this weekend to Milan and had to cancel our trips because we were told that it's probably best that we stay home. At a hotel in Spain's Canary Islands, the doors are chained shut, and nearly a 1,000 tourists there have been ordered to stay in their rooms because one Italian guest is sick with the virus. And President Trump tweeting today that he will be holding a news conference at the White House at 6 o'clock this evening with the CDC and others to deal with the coronavirus.